If not, our partners, our family, our friends will always misinterpret our need to be in their presence and our desire for their undivided attention. And see, this is really crazy because see, I didn't know so many people were blessed by the love languages, but I think it's very critical and important um, for this part three to be something that gives another perspective or another angle on the love languages, but first and foremost, quality time. Quality time, quality time. See, quality time, to me, you know, something that I realized, you know, God really does, he embodies all five of the love languages. He is, he's love, See, he's agape love. Um, and with quality time, something I've learned about quality time, for some people, for those who really, if this is their love language, if this is their mandatory way of showing and receiving love, it almost feels like your quality time with people is like oxygen to your lungs, to your blood flow. It, it, it literally feels like you're connected to your plug when you're spending quality time with the people you wanna be with, but it's the exact opposite. If you're not spending time with the people you love, you feel like, you literally are dying. Like it doesn't, you can tell there's a disconnect when you're not with those people. And I think for people who don't understand people with the quality time love language, it can come off as we're clingy. It can come off as, oh, y'all always need to be around somebody, but it's not. That's the way they show and receive love. So apart from something or someone, it can literally feel like I just don't feel good. I look at life differently. I see things differently. I hear things differently. I perceive you differently. Like, I need to see you. Like, what are you doing? Let's link, let's chill. I wanna be in your presence. And I think that's so crucial because that same language is, is what embodies John chapter uh, 15. When Jesus said, I am the vine and apart from me, you can't produce anything. And it's crazy because without your quality time with God, bro, it literally feels like you're dying. It literally feels like I, I can't think straight. I can't see straight. I literally feel like I'm losing oxygen. I, I'm not myself when I'm not around you. You get what I'm saying? I need to be connected to the vine. And see, quality time, if you're not getting it from the people you love, it can, it can be a direct attack to the relationship. I mean, it's almost like, yo, you need to really communicate your needs in that area because not everybody needs that. Not everybody sees life that way. Not everybody receives love that way. So to them, I can be on my phone when I'm around you. I thought you was just good with my presence. I could be doing other things when I'm around you because I, I, I thought you were just good with just me. Like I'm, I'm here, you got me here so I could do. No, I need your full attention. But then on top of that, I need you present and engaged in whatever we're doing, whatever we're talking about. I wanna know you're with me in this thing. And see, again, that's so powerful because that's the same thing with God. It's not that, oh God, you want me in your presence? All right, look, I'm here, but I'm on my phone. I'm here, but I'm dozing off. I'm here, but I'm doing other things and I'm slightly distracted, but at least my presence is here. It's like, I want you engaged. I want you present here with me. I want you, I want you to commune with me. I want you to communicate with me. I want you to talk with me. I want you to be present with me. I think that's so critical because see, the love languages that I'm doing is how it can help or hinder our walk with God. So the person that understands how they show and receive love in the area of quality time will understand God's desire to spend quality time with them. And see that person, if they can take and understand their desires and look at God as an outlet, you see, when I need quality time from people and they're not giving it to me, I need to learn to run to God. When I feel very, very lonely, I have to remember, wait, no, like I have someone to spend time with. The Holy Spirit is with me, he'll never leave or forsake me, but see, that has to, come, that has to become my reality or I'm gonna be very lonely and my loneliness will control me, you see? My, my, my loneliness will make me call people I have no business being on the phone with. My loneliness will make me go places that ultimately will cause me to compromise just for the sake of company. And I, if there's any truth that I really love concerning quality time is don't compromise your destiny for company. Do not do that. You see, it's so easy to. Because remember, if I don't get quality time with the people that I love, I automatically feel like I literally 
I feel like I'm dying. It, it makes me feel very needy. It makes me feel very clingy to the point where I won't communicate that I just need your time. And see, the person has to become secure. That person has to become aware of what they need and also that they have an outlet and that God can fill the void. Um, and it's beautiful because you know what? Quality time, there's so much life there. Quality time to me is the origin of all the love languages because essentially to get either five, you need to have this one. Because when I'm spending quality time with you, I can hear your words of affirmation. When I'm spending quality time with you, I can receive your acts of service. When I'm spending quality time with you, I can feel your physical touch. When I'm spending quality time with you, I can experience you giving me a gift. So to me, it's the origin of everything, and I see the same thing with God. Quality time is the origin of our relationship with Him. See, intimacy is birthed in quality time. Again, that person needs to communicate their needs because if not, our partners, our family, our friends will always misinterpret our need to be in their presence and our desire for their undivided attention. But even when it comes to God, if we can see God as an outlet, because those moments of weakness come where you're like, yo, I just need someone's presence. I need some company. Um, if I can look at God as that person, I'll win.